Hello and welcome back to the third day of racing at the International Royal Langawi Regatta in Malaysia. On the 1st of June 2007, Langawi Island was given World Geopark status by UNESCO and today's racing was to take part on the east side of Dian Bunting Marble Geoforest Park. The sailors were making last-minute adjustments to their equipment, as with only two days remaining, the competition is getting tighter and tighter. Tactically beautiful. Great day, awesome. This race is amazing. It will have to be absolutely awesome. So some serious coastal racing for today in the beautiful Langawi, with the crew showing off their skills in strong wind conditions, making for another exciting day. In the fastest and most exhilarating racing class, the competition gets tougher and tougher, with three Australian boats in the podium spots fighting neck and neck for first place. After a struggle on day one, Oi recovered the lost ground well and managed to take second place, all the while threatening alive with just one point between the two of them. Well, the plan is uh, we're happy with the boat, uh, as far as the boat having the speed to be able to win a race, uh, we have no problem with that. And it's just a matter of eliminating some of the sort of more uh, you know, tactical and handling issues. And going forward the next couple of days is to make sure that we do those things better and I think then we're in, um, you know, have a good chance against the competition. In the sports boat class, Malaysia's Rizal Mahadi Sazali could not withstand the pressure being applied by Singapore's Ko Lin Ying, who had an excellent day on the water, currently standing in first place. Malaysia's Matahari were on form today and clinched the lead in the IRC2 class by claiming all two bullets, with Phoenix falling behind them into second place. Tomorrow I hear the wind's coming in even more, so um, looking forward to blustery conditions if it does come in. Um, it will challenge, challenge the crews out there. Uh, our boat kind of revels in 10, 15, 20 knots, so looking forward to some, some medium weather uh, racing. Tomorrow the boats are going to compete in an around the island race, the longest course of this amazing regatta. No one can accurately predict as to who will finish on top, the results are just too close to call. And with two more days of racing still remaining, anything can happen.